Hi, I'm Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. 2013 is here and so is the time for the City of Swift Current to update its assessment inventory through revaluation. This includes all residential and commercial properties in the city, which up until this point in time have been valued at 2006 rates. Saskatchewan has numerous events and destinations to please tourists of all ages year-round. And according to Reader's Digest, the Big Muddy Badlands in southwest Saskatchewan have made the top 10 list of places you should visit this year in Canada. The Write Out Loud series took to the stage of the Lyric Theatre, entertaining the crowd with music and a reading from a prairie author. Thanks for joining us here today. 2013 is a big year across the province for revaluating properties. And in the coming days, Swift Current residents will find out how this impacts their overall taxes. 2013 is here and so is the time for the City of Swift Current to update its assessment inventory through revaluation. This includes all residential and commercial properties in the city, which up until this point in time have been valued at 2006 rates. According to the City Assessor, this is a province-wide initiative following the guidelines of the Saskatchewan Assessment Management Agency. In the coming weeks, local residents will receive their assessments in the mail, and whether or not their property taxes will increase will vary on a case-by-case -case basis. We know that the uh, assessments for all properties are, are going to change because the mar it's directly re related to the market. Um, however, an increase in your assessment does not necessarily mean an increase in taxes because for the most part, all the assessments are going up, so the mill rates will go down to compensate. Keller encourages local residents to attend a series of open houses in the coming days to learn more about the assessment process and inquire about their specific property. They can come in and, and kind of kick tires at the open house. We expect that our assessment notices will go out about the regular time, which is uh, the middle to end of February of this year. Um, and at that time, they'll get the actual paper but they can come in and, and check out what the differences in their values are going to be from last year to this year and, uh, and what their market value is for the property. The series of Swift Current open houses will be held in council chambers on January 23rd from 1 until 8 p.m. for residential property owners. Then on January 29th from 1 until 4 for those owning commercial properties. With any additional concerns directed to the city assessor. Being able to tell your story has become a critical issue for most businesses, but there are many choices to consider. The bottom line is, you need to be able to connect with your customers, and nothing works better than video. Why do I say that? Take a look at this. Our company helps tell your story and provides you with a solution on how to market your business. Because making a great video is only half the equation. You have to know how to use it. We have done A popular tourism destination in southwest Saskatchewan has been named as one of the top 10 places to visit in Canada. We have more in this report. Saskatchewan has numerous events and destinations to please tourists of all ages year-round. And according to Reader's Digest, the Big Muddy Badlands in southwest Saskatchewan have made the top 10 list of places you should visit this year in Canada. And while holding down the number 8 position is the only Saskatchewan site in the list, this is a proud moment for tourism Saskatchewan. The Big Muddy Badlands are... Uh, really growing in, I guess, notoriety and popularity. Um, they're a very unique part of Saskatchewan, a very unique part of Canada. Uh, you know, it's such an amazing combination of uh, natural beauty, uh, very unique natural beauty with, with places like Castle Butte. Um, the human history is, is amazing, with, uh, starting with First Nations history there. There's some amazing uh, effigies and so on, um, but also, you know, the, the, the ranching history and, and the outlaw history of the outlaws coming across the border from the United States and hiding out in the Sam Kelly Caves and so on. We get so many questions about uh, Castle Butte in particular when, whenever we run a photo of it. 
people see that and say, I need to get there. It just looks so amazing. And one of the really neat things about Castle Butte is you can climb it. I mean, it looks like a sort of a miniature mountain, but uh, there's trails that lead right up to the top and just give a spectacular view of the surrounding countryside. Fox goes on to add that along with the Big Muddy Badlands, a long list of other attractions are awaiting tourists during their visit to Saskatchewan. This year there's there's a lot of major events happening, you know, starting with uh, the Junos in, in April, uh, Memorial Cup and, and the University Cup in Saskatoon after that, and then culminating with the Grey Cup in the fall. But every community, uh, every part of the province has lots going on, and we're going to make sure that we promote all of it um, you know, and, and people see all the great things hard to do in Saskatchewan. Tourism contributes to over $2 billion annually to the Saskatchewan economy, while employing over 55,000 individuals. The complete list of the top 10 places you must visit this year in Canada is available in the latest copy of Reader's Digest. Right Out Loud is an ongoing series at the Lyric Theatre in Swift Current and drew a crowd to its recent January presentation. The Lyric Theatre recently hosted another segment of Right Out Loud, which proved to be an entertaining night for all in attendance. The night featured a musical performance by the Midnight Roses, who have just finished recording their first album. Michelle Pajoir, the lead singer for the Midnight Roses, is not new to the Lyric Theatre and explains why it is special to her. It's always a privilege to play here. The sound's always great, the people are always great, and it's just always fun and exciting. The lyric is actually why I'm still in Saskatchewan. I met Eliza first here, and ever since, like, it, my life was just kind of opened up to all these amazing musicians and people through the lyric, and that's kind of kept me here. Write Out Loud also featured author D. Hobbs Braun Smith, who is promoting her new book, Food Shed. Food Shed is a rich encyclopedia of facts and original recipes, but also touches on the challenges and joys faced by small-scale producers in Alberta. This is Hobbs Braun Smith's fifth book, but she mentions that it wasn't created without its own unique challenges. Some of the challenges were simply the geographic size of the country. Um, I received a couple grants from the Alberta Foundation for the Arts, which offset some of my travel expenses during the research. And I was fortunate that I knew a lot of the farmers already through my work as a chef and an educator and a writer and as this, you know, tour conductor. So getting there was half the trip. It was great. I went out on all kinds of trips over various lengths of time. Food Shed profiles 76 different families in Alberta who all have a part in agriculture. Hubsbron Smith focused on families who are selling to a local market and that raise food sustainably which was a large part of the message she was trying to get across to the audience. One of the most important things about eating locally is about the community that's involved in food production and the fact that as consumers, a lot of us, most of us in fact, live no longer rurally, live in an urban environment. We don't know our farmers. We don't have that sense of community anymore and many of us do not know how our food is raised or under what conditions or if it has chemical inputs or if it's raised if the animals are being raised humanely. Right Out Loud is one of the many ongoing events at the Lyric Theatre. For more information on upcoming events, check out their website. For Southwest TV News, I'm Scott Armstrong. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.